What's going on everybody? Got another video here for you. This one's a little bit different. Uh, we're going to learn how to find derivatives and integrals using WX Maxima. So using a computer. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It's not bad. I'm just going to show you a few little things and uh, there'll be a couple of little tricks in here that you can, uh, that might be helpful to you. Uh, so first let's let's just look at finding the derivative so you know of course it doesn't matter what the function is this is going to find the derivative of it so I'm just going to use a simple function so to find the derivative you're going to need to know the commands so use diff d-i-f-f -F -F. and in parentheses you can put the function, let's, so let's just do x raised to the fifth power. So that's the function that you're finding the derivative of. And then we need to put a comma and x. That tells us what our variable is. So our variable is x. So it's going to differentiate this function with respect to x. And then on the end here, we have to put a semicolon. And so that's that's just what you have to put at the end of the statement there. Now, if you just hit enter, it's not going to do anything. So you're going to have to hold the shift key down and hit enter. And you can see there's your derivative 5x to the fourth. All right, so sometimes we might need to find the second derivative or the third derivative. Okay, so how would we go about doing that? Well, it's going to be the same thing, diff, and then we're going to put x raised to the fifth, comma, x, so nothing's changed. So when I did this, that gave me the first derivative. But let's say I want to find the second derivative. I'm going to put a comma and then the number 2. That tells me what derivative I want. If I want the third derivative, I would put a three instead of the two. And then we'll put our semicolon, shift, enter, and there's the second derivative. All right. Now, the other thing I want to show you is notice how right here we, we put the function. So one thing you can do is you can, you can define the function first. So we put f of x and then we put a colon equals x raised to the fifth okay so so what we're doing is we're just defining the function and so now we can come down here and we can say diff now instead of typing in x to the fifth I can just type in whatever the function is. Okay, so I'm going to differentiate f of x, comma, x, and then I'm going to put my semicolon there, shift, whoop, made a mistake. All right, and what did I do wrong? Well, semicolon, shift, enter. And there's your uh, there's your solution. Okay. Now let, let me show you one other thing. Notice how I put the semicolon here, and what happened when I hit Shift Enter? It put the function and then the derivative. Now watch this. If I erase the semicolon and put a dollar sign and hit Shift Enter, it just returns the derivative. Okay. All right. Now, let's suppose we want to take the first, second, and third derivative, and we want the answer to all three. Okay. So you can do that on one line. I can put diff, and then I can put f of x, comma, x, and then a semicolon. And then I put diff f of whoop, f of x comma x comma 2 that's going to give us the second derivative semicolon diff 
f of x comma x comma 3 and a semicolon. So watch what this does. Shift enter and you can see it lists all three derivatives. So you know if you want to see them all I mean you could do them separate you know like this type this in then type this in you'll have them on different lines or you can type it all on one line separated by a semicolon and it'll list all three derivatives. All right. All right. So that's that's finding derivatives. So you can type the function in or you can uh, or you can define the function and then use f of x all the way down. Now, let, let me show you the advantage of uh, defining the function. So let's say that you're working on something and the function changes. So if I type the function in each place, I would have to go back and fix it everywhere. But since I define the function here, I could actually just come up here and change this to say sine of x. Okay, and then you can come up here to cell and evaluate all cells, or you can hit Control Shift R. So let's evaluate all cells, and it's working. Let's see, and there it is. And you can see everything changed. It took it a little while to redo everything but all I had to do was change it here one time and that's it okay now integrals they're gonna work the same way you can define the function just like this or you can type the function in okay so let's look at let's look at integrals so let's see if I can uh, Maybe I can clear everything. I'll tell you what, let's just close this and let's open it back up. All right, so let's close this. All right. Okay, so now let's look at integrals. All right, so to integrate something, all we're going to do, we're going to type in integrate, and let's integrate x divided by x cubed plus 1. Okay, that, that can be a complicated integral. And then we want to put a comma x because we're going to integrate with respect to x and then we put our semicolon and we hit shift enter and there's your answer so you can see it gives us a nice answer here now let's let's check this so you're going to see another little trick here so let's check to make sure this is the right answer so what we should be able to do is find the derivative of this thing and we should get x over x cubed plus 1 as an answer. So let's differentiate that. Now, I don't want to type all this in, but what you can do is you can hit percent, and it that means it's going to like recall this last, this answer here. Comma x, and then semicolon. So what the percent does is it uses this last answer we got here and then we're going to hit shift enter and that's the derivative of it well that doesn't look like x over x cubed plus one so let's see if we can simplify this so you can put rat simp simplifying a rational function and which one do I want to simplify this previous answer I have so I can hit percent and then we put semicolon and shift enter and what it did is it simplified this and you get x over x cubed plus one which is what we started with okay 
All right. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, what if I have a definite integral? Okay, you have limits on your integral. Well, that's fine too. So we want to integrate and let's let's integrate x times the log of x. So x times, now let me show you something here, the log of x. So you see what I what I typed in here? Okay, and then I would put comma x and then comma, and let's say I want to integrate from 1 to 10. So I would put 1 comma 10. All right. Now, this is going to, it's not going to give me the right answer, and or it's not going to do right. And let me, let me show you why. You see this x times log? In wx maxima, you have to put the multiple. Well, it just, you hit shift and then the, the little star, the ampersand. Not ampersand, but the, the little star. And that does the multiplication. Okay, you have to put the multiplication whoop, between them. I'm, I need to get between the X and the L. And so you've got to put that multiplication in between it. Just shift eight. Okay. And then I'm going to hit shift, enter, and there's my answer. And so, so that's what you get for an answer. Okay, so you can do it on the limits also. Now, another thing you can do, this goes with derivatives and integrals. You can come up here to calculus and you see the integrate and differentiate. So if we do differentiate, say look at this, we can do x raised to the fifth, x, and you can put how many times you want to do the derivative. Let's take, let's do the fourth derivative. And so we hit OK and there it is. So you can use this up here also, and then you can, once you do that, if you want to say, oh, I don't want the fourth derivative, I want the third, you can come up here and change that to a three and hit shift enter, and it'll update it also. And then same thing with the integrals, you just type, you can type your function in, let's just do x squared, something easy, x, and then you can hit OK. And there's your answer. Or if you're doing a definite integral, let's just do the x squared again and the definite integral. And you can put from whatever to whatever. And you hit enter and it'll give you the answer. For this one, you know, it's just one third. But that's, that's finding derivatives and integrals and a few little tips. A few little tips and tricks, a few little other things in there too. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you all in the next one. Later.